today, class, we're going to examine two phrases. No class and no integrity. I'm going to consult our dictionary to explain what both are. <clears throat> Classless. Belonging to no particular social class. Free from distractions of social class. Hmm. Let's see integrity. Integrity. Firm adherence to a code of moral or artistic values. Moral or artistic values. Hmm. So, Jed. If that was really you, I have a message for you. We're calling the school. Yo, this is Anthony, coming to you live from the Paso Garage. What's up? Jed, do you want to call me classless? You want to say that I have no integrity? Who are you kidding, buddy? Let me say something to you right now. Integrity? No integrity? Huh? What? It's integrity to kick a guy out that gave you everything, that gave you everything and brought your team back to a winning standard. Is that what you call integrity, Judd? Is that what it is? Huh? You want to take a coach that wanted nothing but to win and to give you winning seasons and he came in with a team that performed at a 6-10, okay? A 6 and 10 record the, the year before under Mike Singletary and turned it around. And what did he do? What did he do, Jed? What's integrity? Huh? Don't question my integrity. I have complete integrity. Let me show you something here, okay? Integrity. Integrity. This is my integrity. I am a 49er faithful till the day I die. Do you understand me, Judd? Classless? Oh, I'm classless now, huh? Why? Because I don't kiss your butt? Because I wasn't implanted here to be a yes man? What? All the people with class, they say yes, Judd, yes, Judd, yes, Judd. Is that what class is? Huh? Did you hear what the definition of classless is? You, my friend, are the epitome of classless and no integrity. You have no class. You open up the mouths of the people that feed you and give you your money and you poop right down their throats. That's what you do. You do it to me. You do it to all the other fans. And you do it to the people that work for you. Get some class and integrity, Jed. You want to preach class and integrity? Don't step to this, dude. Listen to me. You're a little weasel, okay? You're a little weasel sitting behind your desk thinking you're bigger and better than everyone else. And you want to spew your ever so godliness that you think you have upon all of us. And you know what? The faithful empire, we ain't buying it no more. We're coming at you. We're coming at you, Jed. You keep making these decisions. You keep doing the things that you're doing. You keep acting with your ego and thinking you're so much better than everybody else. And we're going to put you right in your place, Jed. The day's coming. You mark my words, your days are numbered. Your Uncle Eddie's coming back into this organization and he's gonna bring us back to greatness. If that's the last thing I do, I ain't tolerating this no more. It's all over with. You're a joke. You're a complete joke. And then you lash out at your fans, you block them on Twitter, 
you talk about them, you don't want to acknowledge them, and then you have the gall to sit in front of the world and say you will be hold, held accountable? How are you going to be held accountable? I'm holding you accountable right now, Jed. I want you to make a decision right now. You bring your Uncle Eddie back into this organization, Jed. That's what it is. That's your accountability. You do it for your fans. You do it for this team. You restore greatness back into this team. And I'm coming guns a-blazing. I'm not stopping. I'm not relenting. I'm a relentless son of a gun that's never going to get off your ass until I get what I want for the fans, for the empire, for the people that pay your bills. We're coming and we're going to destroy whatever you think that you hold so grateful to yourself. It's done with. It's over with. I'm done and I'm coming. You better believe it. You see this face? You see this face? I'm coming for you. And I'm not stopping until I get what I want. Pencil out.